Yo guys, you people. Hi there. This might be a, a bit of a whiny video. So I'm just warning you up front if you don't feel too solid on your feet yourself at the moment and or uh, you're just not in the mood for this. Go away, do something more profitable for yourself. However, um, on this end, it's probably just what I got to do at this very moment. Wine. Because I can't really decide. I asked my tarot deck, the Mary L in this case, whether I should stay or whether I should go. And this is what I got. The nine of discs. And no, I'm not talking about my marriage. <laughs> I am talking about the social restaurant that I work at as a volunteer that I have worked at for the past, um, let me think, six years or so, almost five and a half plus a bit. And it has been a roller coaster because, as Esther Perel says, and I'm going to put regardless one of her videos in the description again. Because I like her so much. And what she says applies to romantic relationships. But to, as far as I can tell, to every other relationship at the moment as well. We have no more real protocols. At least I don't. So my choice. I have this whole travail. I've had three episodes this year in a fairly short period of time. Where people challenge me or attack me on some point or other where they don't talk to me directly but they pass it by somebody else or it's thrown in the group in a location where it shouldn't have come out things like that communication sucks generally and I also completely fail at what it is that they need I can see that I can see that I am way too emotional, way too sensitive, way too all over the place for them to easily handle. But I can't help it. It's so triggering for me. So anybody would tell me, go away, get the hell out of there. And so far I have still not decided to go because I care about the type of work that it is. It is one of the very few um, r repetitive types of work that I can do with people in my close vicinity, in my close neighborhood, so in this town that I live in. And I have done it for more than five years now, and I've still managed to keep going. And this type of conflict has happened before, and each time I feel, you know, I get these transformations and things happen, and things get clearer to me and my patterns become clearer to me and each time I feel like okay so now I can really you know I can start relaxing I can let go of all this terrible intensity and all this drama and why should I uh, just keep this you know having these reactions but it doesn't stop and it doesn't end and it doesn't um, become any easier because it's partly also my temperament it's in my chart it's in everywhere my past has been like this so what should I do should I protect them from my intensity is that fair to me if I love the work if I love the clients if I enjoy these hours that I have at that moment you know uh, once every few weeks or so uh, interacting with the people where it isn't emotional, where it's actually sort of semi-professional and it's fun and it's something I like to do. I like cooking, I like making soup for people. They enjoy, they enjoy my soup always. And that has such a high value for me that I can't, it hurts me more to say goodbye to that. So, it isn't easy and um, the Nine of Discs card really tells me that um, 
the process itself is worth something something too so even though it hurts even though i get into conflict with people not because i'm so very much in their faces or anything um it is basically a lot of what goes on is cultural differences where i come from or the life that i lead now has not so much time for keeping a spotless clean household you could say they're muggles there you have it and i am a witch so what do you do right when you interact with muggles <laughs> what are you supposed to be how are you supposed to to do it and not it's not about me talking about all sorts of weird subjects necessarily i don't think that i don't do that whenever there's tension and um people just don't have time for my side of things my perspective when i'm emotional they don't want to hear about it they don't want to see my my tears basically so it's tough it's really really tough at this time i think i will just watch this back and then maybe upload this because it's straight from the heart and a situation that i know many people are in also at one point or another so i just thought what the hell i'll just share this the other element that i can add on to this bit for now is that i actually managed to comfort myself quite a bit by uh doing some oil painting and i may actually take this thing upstairs and show you what i've been up to hang on a second okay so i'm walking upstairs <clears throat> sorry because this is where i do my painting it's a different room as you can see it is also our library there's the window on the north side there's me cupboards with all sorts of trinkets and hobby materials painting stuff what have you and um comics and there's towels and so on and so forth more books so what i wanted to show you i'm going to try and put them down here on the table like this out of breath one stairway and i'm out of breath it's awful <clears throat> This is what I have been doing. So, back to earth tones. Yes, I know some of you guys like to see my painting. So, there you go. <laughs> this is just layer number one. As you can see on my finger here, it's still wet. This is an earth, a green earth tone, actually, a green umber. Let me tilt it back forward slightly so you can see the... Uh, the color is better it doesn't shine so much so there's a couple of white bits in there still that I uh, still want to work on I'm also um, fairly pleased with that I hardly I hardly ever did any any thinking at this point so for me especially working with oil paint that is a really tricky question and um, I basically started off, you can tell that there's like a pink heart kind of a shape in the middle, right? Or slightly off center. And it has a, like a big uh, root canal <laughs> going down uh, sort of into the earth or it is the heart is standing on that. If you can uh, remember. Um, I made a drawing of that in felt tip uh, pens and pencils. Uh, a little while ago and it was just an image that came to mind of how our emotional life is you know not symmetrical to begin with in inside ourselves how it is uh thrown stuff it, stuff gets thrown at it you know often from the same side and so you get that's also why you get asymm asymmetrical you know as an image it's an image you know of um one part of my heart uh, would be really idealistic and uh is really always into all this 
almost dreamy, non-material, um, you know, things, worlds up there, meditation, and plenty of ideals, you know, dreams. And then again, also, I found that my heart is more rooted nowadays. And I was thinking, I thought, when I was doing the drawing last week, that it is rooted in my relationship with people. Thinking of individual people also. And that's what's hurting because it find, I find the relationships, of course, it has to come from two sides. And it's not the way I thought it was. Happens, right? All this emotional stuff to me is still fairly new because until a few years ago, none of this would have happened to me because I was completely closed in upon myself and I had no way of contacting any of this. So all that being said, um, I find that painting with colors like this, these a lot of this is just earth tones like ochres and, uh, you know, brown tint like that. For example, this is a transparent. Don't do that, you stupid thing. <laughs> See what type of a brown that is? That's a really cool color. It's a uh, red oxide lacquer. So you can brush it out really um, thinly or dilute it a lot and you will get this beautiful a rusty, very deep, rusty tint. So that's just one of them. I've got lots of earth tones. The pink in the heart color and there's a couple of tiny bits of blue in the painting as well. That is, let me show you this one, another tube, ultramarine blue dark. See? That's a, that's a really awesome color as well. So those two, the pink and the blue, are not earth tones. Otherwise, the rest of this is completely done in earth tones. And I've always found that to be a really satisfying way of working. Um, and even just sitting here with the smell of the lavender oil that I use, there's a spike oil, lavender. Uh, I still have quite a bit left, I can see. So that's okie dokie. It's a small bottle. I use uh, a medium to dilute the paint slightly and to make it, this contains resin and in combination with the oil that makes the paint easier to handle and work with and work with in fine detail and so on. However, I found also, I realized really that I've got a challenge with oil painting to really get this, keep this going. That's my big challenge because I tend to oil paint for a while as long as I've got this great idea going, you know, from here, that's easy. Except I don't do it anymore because I need to be really motivated. So then what I do is like this type of work. I just go ahead with some in some type of a shape or form, more or less abstract. And I don't think about, I don't worry about putting in figures of people and interactions and all the rest of it all the naturalistic interaction between people and things that I also like to draw and paint which is cool to do I just didn't go for that at all at this point I just went I have to uh, comfort myself basically I just have to little you know daub little bits of paint on there and see whatever happens is fine do this for me now and it turns out that works only the oil painting process itself really requires you to come back to that same painting at least four or five times while in between the paint dries and of course you can do a lot of other things. Um, I can work on this the rest of this afternoon and still I will feel at some point that it would be better if this or that area of the painting would to dry and then I could go over it to add more detail or to add a particular shine or a tint or anything like that. And that um, slow, careful dosing of the effort is something that's completely counterintuitive to me. 
especially in the state I'm in at the moment with people telling me my house is no good and things like that. You know, that's what that's what basically happened, which caused the, ugh, all the emotional upheaval again. So, um, I, I am so dependent on people's opinions of me. And I think I'm strong and independent and uh, it's unbelievable really that how people can get you individual people that you are sensitive to because you have a kind of a friendship with them even and the fact that they don't like your house doesn't mean they don't like you that's something that does just doesn't go in here i think she hates me and especially because i i was crying she has no clue she has never had to look for any clues I have been searching for clues all my life, every day of my life. I spent looking for clues. There's another painting up there, see? It's also not finished. Because once it's in that stage, I feel like, eh, you know, I'm going to do something else now. No need. Whereas maybe this is more of a need. Maybe now, with what I have been doing today in this painting, I might explore a different approach you know paint for me <laughs> it's a new thought thank you so much if you lasted this long uh, listening to me whine about these things thank you thank you again and um i will be doing probably doing a little bit of astro uh vr to brian call my car because i thought that was really cool so see you over there potentially okay thank you bye bye